There's certainly an uptick in activity across the Atlantic Basin. Across the Caribbean Sea, we've also been seeing a disturbance here. We we'll watch, first of all, the dis disturbance, which is just about a 1,000 kilometers east of the Lesser Antilles. It is set to move towards the west-northwest, possibly getting close to the northern Leeward Islands by the weekend. So if you're watching this system, it does have a higher chance of developing in the next uh, five days. And then it's next system, the disturbance here out towards the central and western Caribbean, it is set to move towards the west-northwest and should develop close towards the northwestern corner of the Caribbean. It will be over some warm waters, 29 degrees Celsius, so you could be seeing the potential of this system making its way closer towards Central America or maybe taking that west-northwest turn and getting close to the Yucatan Peninsula as you get towards the weekend. But regardless of it, it is set to bring a lot more rainfall, especially around the Belize, so they'll be watching the system quite closely. Possibility of localized flash flooding, mudslides, gusty winds as well, and obviously there will be the attendant surf, which will be going along the coastline. But for the Eastern Caribbean right now, it is still pretty much settled. There will be a passing tropical wave. It will bring a few showers around, but mostly towards the south, so around the Trinidad and Tobago, not so far south as Ghana. They may well enjoy some sunshine here or there. And up towards the Great Antilles, we'll still have uh, that disturbance, which is just south of uh, Jamaica. So we'll likely throw a few showers around Kingston, some of them thundery and heavy, a high of 32 degrees Celsius here. But for the rest of uh, the Great Antilles, we're looking at mostly settled weather once we get that disturbance heading towards the northwest Caribbean, however, things will turn quite stormy indeed across that section. So that's your Caribbean forecast, and that's it from me.